Um, someone showed me a uh, a Facebook post yesterday, and the uh, poster commented, "My my neighbor is so excited. He just filled up his gas tank for twenty eight bucks." The bad news is it was his lawnmower. <laughs> And, and I think that kind of reflects the sentiments in America today. Um, not just in, not, not, not just gasoline prices, but inflation. And, and it is a serious problem for, for lower middle income and poor Americans. For upper middle income and higher Americans, this inflation led by gasoline prices may, uh, may cause them to have to choose between Amazon Prime and Netflix, but for our less fortunate Americans, it's a choice between filling up their car or paying their rent or buying the food. Um, it's no mystery why we're having this inflation in gasoline. When, you're, when your demand remains constant or it increases and your supply shrinks, you're going to see price increases every single time. Um, why is supply shrinking? Well, I think the main reason, there are other reasons, but I think the main reason has to do with President Biden's energy policy. We know now, after 14 months, that President Biden's energy policy is wind, solar, and wishful thinking. Uh, the American economy is the most powerful economy in all of human history. It can't run without energy. Eighty percent of our energy comes from fossil fuels. Someday that will be lower, but that day is not here. And um, gasoline markets and oil markets are like every other market. They don't just, the price does not just reflect the current situation. Markets are forward-looking. The price of gasoline today and the price of oil and natural gas also reflects what people who produce the product and who buy the product think about the future. And there's no question, there's no question that they look ahead under the Biden administration and, and see that they expect the Biden administration to continue to do everything it can to, uh, to, to uh, bankrupt the oil and gas industry. And I know the Biden administration will respond by saying, oh, Kennedy, we're producing more oil today and natural gas in America than we ever have. Uh, but once again, these markets are not just today, looking at today, they are, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're forward looking. And, and that's just basic, uh, basic economic it's 101. I'll give you one example quickly. Um, the president says I'm not against oil and gas. All you have to do is look at uh, his proposed new rules for the National Environmental Policy Act. The proposed rules for NEPA. Take a good look at a pipeline because you won't see another one in America if these rules rules pass. You And you, can, you, you can't produce certainly natural gas without pipelines. So, thank you for being here.